Hey and welcome to this video. I'm going to show you some more experiments with gallium. Gallium is a liquid at room temperature but solidifies when it starts to cool slightly. So here I have some liquid gallium and I'm going to show you how to make a gallium mirror. Now I found the best way of doing that is actually just a gloved hand basically uh, to smear it on the glass and just rub it in to form a thin layer over the glass. Unlike mercury it tends to coat surfaces, so if you get it on your hands, it forms a grayish discoloration of your skin, which is hard to wash off, and that's why I'm using gloves. But also, that property is useful for making things like mirrors and uh, other shiny surfaces. So I don't pour too much on the glass. Right there, and just start slowly rubbing it into the glass. And as you can see, it's forming a mirrored layer over the glass surface. So let's fast forward through this and be back in a second. Here are the final mirrors. They look pretty good actually, considering they're home-made mirrors out of gallium. Here's the other smaller one. And here's some that I coated on glass. Plastic glass, so it does coat plastic as well. The mirrors can be further stabilized by just putting some scotch tape on the back of them, which is what I did here. And uh, gives a uh, more durable end product. So uh, these have been treated with, with scotch tape. On a final side note, uh, this is a piece of aluminum that I had um, put some of the gallium on the previous day and it's just crumbling apart. So this is a thick piece of pretty strong aluminum and it doesn't take a whole lot of force to just break it like that. So basically it's become really soft to the point where I can just crumble it up with this pair of pliers with minimal force. And uh, just disintegrates totally so the structure has been altered irreversibly by the presence of the gallium. And uh, some parts of it are still hard, but most of it has just become totally soft. Making hydrogen gas and uh, I'm sure it's exotherming a little bit. But the oxide layer of the aluminum has been completely destroyed allowing it to display its true reactivity as you can see here thanks for watching and please come back for more videos